please welcome solver, Hilla Azadzoy. I would like to invite everyone to participate in a small mind experiment. Please think of the three objects that you would take with you if you were forced to leave your home within one minute. Now, who of you actually thought of bringing along your original high school diploma? When Sajida, a 21-year-old Syrian student, was forced to leave her home due to the ongoing conflict in Syria, she also chose the warm jacket instead. But when she arrived in Germany, she found herself in a situation where her life was all of a sudden put completely on hold. And accessing university was nearly impossible due to four main barriers, which are an unclarified legal status and missing documents, limited college capacities, language barriers, and the cost related to studying. Usually, until these issues are resolved, valuable years, sometimes up to three, four, or five, go by and refugees like Sajida are unable to work towards their future. And she is actually not the only one. Currently, there are over 65 million people forcibly displaced, and less than 1% has access to higher education, leaving millions of people without the possibility to fully live up to their potential. At Chiron, it is our mission to remove these barriers and to empower refugees to live a self-determined life through higher education. So how do we tackle this global challenge, and what does this mean for Sajida? We do this by creating accessible digital curricula that are based on open educational resources coming from world-class institutions such as MIT, Harvard, and Stanford. Our digital curricula, ranging from engineering to computer science, are recognized by our 38 partner universities worldwide so that refugees like Sajida can start studying online for up to two semesters and then transfer upon successful completion to one of our partner universities offline, finishing with a fully accredited bachelor's degree. This means that Sajida can start studying online right away, irrespective of her papers, completely free of cost, and most importantly, without losing any valuable time. In addition, Sajida has access to buddies, mentors, language courses, study centers, a whole ecosystem supporting her to thrive. The challenges refugees have been facing are not new, but actually have been around for decades. But in contrast to the past, technological advancements have made it possible to provide an effective, high-quality, and sustainable solution at scale, so that reaching one's full potential is not a dream, but becomes a reality for everyone, everywhere, and anytime. Thank you very much. <laughs>